that rookie. Honey, what are you doing here? You left so early, didn't have time for breakfast, so I brought you a Danish, and I brought you some hot coffee. Oh. Nice, honey, but I can't, I can't eat while I'm on my beat. I've seen a lot of cops walk and eat apples. Well, not when their beat is in front of the police station. Why'd you rush off, sir? Well, honey, I'm not there gonna be late. I want Anna and Lewis to think that I'm really serious about my punishment so I can get back to my regular assignment. Decide what you're gonna do. About what? About telling Anna you saw Tuffy using a key to get into Duke's back door last night. Well, I'm trying to work it out while I'm walking my beat here. Either I tell Anna about it or I do the investigation solo. Which one? Someone's in the outside office. See who it is. Damon? Morning. Morning. I thought you were in New York City. Well, I was, but I got back into Port Charles last night. Well, you might have contacted me. You know, I was on my way over here, but something I saw stopped me, and I thought it best to wait until morning. What was it? Frisco Jones and his wife watching the back door of your place. Well, that's odd. Very. I don't understand. They saw Tuffy let himself in. You cool it. I'm with him. Well, if Frisco creates a problem and anyone asks any questions, I'll just say, Tuffy came to see me on union business. He let himself in your back door, and he had his own key. Now, that doesn't sound like union business to me. It certainly won't to Frisco Jones. I'll take care of it. Maybe this time out. You know, Frisco Jones is a problem that just doesn't seem to go away. Even Anna Devane can't seem to control the rookie. He's been reprimanded. He's now walking some bum patrol someplace. Now for how long? What does it matter? It matters because the cash transfers have to be resumed, and Frisco Jones is a problem that just doesn't seem to go away. Now, I'm saying you have to remove the problem. And I'm saying I'm still running this operation at Port Charles. I don't take kindly to your interference. I'm Mr. B's direct representative. What I am saying, he is saying. You know, Damon, I still run my own show. That was the deal. You know, I very much like my job, and I'd like to keep it. Mr. B's of the opinion you're getting a little too emotionally involved with the people here. Namely, Anna Devane. That is my personal life. That is my own affair. Are you losing sight of something? What? We own you. Body and soul. 24 hours a day, whether you like it or not. I'm just worried and waiting. For what? I don't want to see you get into any more trouble, and I want to know what you're going to do with that information on Tuffy. But whatever you decide, I'm behind you. Honey, I have to walk my beat. Right. So what are you going to do? I've been thinking about that. Yeah, and I can hear the rocks jumbling around. I'm gonna let Anna decide. You're gonna tell Anna? I didn't say that. This is what I'm gonna do. If Anna reassigns me to my regular position, I tell her what's been going on and I work as a team with her. Oh, I like that. But mm. if she continues to let other people work on my investigation, I go solo. That's how I handle it. Well, then I'm just going to pray that she matches you up with Chief Ramsey because all these things you're getting involved in are making me very nervous. You really think I'm onto something, don't you? I think something big's going down on the waterfront. You know, there's something maybe I could do today to help. What? Maybe when I get to Duke's office, I can kind of feel him out and see what I can come up with Duke and Tuffy. I don't know about that, honey. Frisco, I'll be careful, really careful. What? <clears throat> Oh, hello, Captain Lewis. Hello. Uh, Captain, sir? Yes? Uh, do you have any idea when this particular duty I'm on will be over? That's up to Chief Devane. Could I, uh, talk to you for a minute? What is it? Why aren't you on your beat? <clears throat> well, I'm on authorized break. 
Good. What's the matter? Well, I, I saw Sean leave here a while ago. I just wondered what was wrong. He's a friend of mine, too. Yeah. Well, he seems to be suffering from the same disease as you are. Well, what disease is that? You both think that you're more capable of solving cases than I am. I never said anything like that. Oh, come on. Actions speak louder than words, Fiske. Yeah, I suppose. I see you've seen the morning paper. Is this why Sean was here? I don't want to discuss this with you right now, okay? Well, I don't know Monica, but Sean... Yeah, he's a friend of yours. I think we already covered that. I guess we did. Is that all you wanted to talk to me about? <clears throat> well, I just wanted to remind you that my tour of punishment is over today. Yeah, I want to wear that. Well, good, because I'm anxious to get back on my beat with Chief Ramsey. Frisco, I haven't decided what your next assignment is going to be. You broke a lot of team rules here, and, and that, that's a serious offense. I see. Is there anything else? Can I be excused? Yeah. Frisco. Honey. I'm standing guard. I can't talk to you right now. You shouldn't be here. But I have something important that I have to tell you. What is it? Duke told me that there are too many unauthorized people that have keys to his back door. Anyway, I'm supposed to get the locks changed. What do you think that means? Well, to me, it means that nothing sinister is going on. I think Tuffy was just going into the office to get some union papers or something. Anyway, he didn't like him having the key. Sounds a little glib to me. But I thought you'd be relieved. Hey, so burned up at Anna. I'm going the investigation solo. Are you sure? She's not giving me any choice. She's not going to let me... She's not going to let me work on the case. So what am I supposed to do? Just don't do anything. Just... Until you just cool off a little bit. I right? know that I'm on to something. I, I can't let that go. But you just not do anything until we talk about it later, all right? Okay, I'll pay. Just promise me you won't do anything until we talk. Well, I can't promise that. I... I can't talk to you anymore right here, okay? Right, that's okay. I have to go get the locks changed anyway. Just stay cool. What else can I do? I'm on duty. Well, we'll talk when you get off duty. So, I'll see you later. Okay. It's Frisco Jones, isn't it? Yeah. I hear you like poker. Well, you heard that, huh? Where'd you hear that? Do you? I like poker, but I'd like to know where you heard that. It's a big game starting in the warehouse. Ten minutes. Hey! Hey, I'm on duty! Could be set up. Can't leave post till I get relief officer. Eric, you're off duty. It's not like I'm asking you to, to split on your detail. Look, I owe you, man, and uh, I, I wouldn't mind giving you some of my time, but. If the brass finds out I'm taking over your guard duty, I'm in trouble too. We're supposed to fight crime, right? Yeah. Well, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm onto something, man, and I need to investigate it right now. I'll be gone 30, 40 minutes max. What the hell do I tell somebody when they ask me what I'm doing on guard duty? Nobody's gonna ask you anything. All the brass is out of the station right now. I'll be back before you know it. Nobody will even notice I'm gone. Are you really onto something? Tell me it's big, man. <sighs> okay, thanks. I Make it fast, all right? Eric? Yes, sir? What are you doing here? Uh, relieving a fellow officer, sir. This is Frisco's duty. Yes, sir. So where is he? Uh... 
I'm not sure, sir. I get the feeling you're subbing for him, right? Uh... Right? Right, sir. So what's he doing? I don't know, sir. Captain, I... You are in big trouble. I'm going to tell you something, rookie. Frisco's in bigger trouble than you, but you're in big enough trouble as it is. Captain something Lewis. for... Go ahead. Central dispatch. Call for you at headquarters. Anonymous tip about out-of-town gamblers in a big game in a waterfront warehouse. Okay, I'm coming in. Get a squad car ready for a bust. I'll deal with you later. Damn. Game still open? Nice. Yeah, it's Frisco Jones, isn't it? Yeah. The game's still open. Take a seat. I'll do you. Great. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of cash out there in that spot. Like that. Mm -hmm. Listen, who set this game up? Who told you to call? Well, we play, we don't talk much. Any up? And the sky's the limit. Well, that's fine with me. I'm way ahead of the game here anyway. Oh, yeah. Really would like to know who set this up so I can, can thank him for asking me along here. You know, it's tough for a married rookie to make it on what he makes. Who can open? Jacks are better. Progressive. Jacks. All right, hope you're arrested. You're busted. Arrest the fucking what are you doing here, Jones? Well, I can explain, sir. No. Explain to Chief Devane. Come on, let's go. Let's move it. What is it? Take him down.